my name is Aslam Mullah and I am a registered attorney and in today's video we're looking at the topic of insubordination. Insubordination as a ground for dismissal in South Africa. We're going to cover what is the definition of insubordination, give an example of insubordination and also whether it qualifies as a ground for dismissal compared to other offenses. So let's get started. What is insubordination? South African labor law defines insubordination as any act where the employee fails to follow a reasonable instruction that has been given by the employer. Again, insubordination is any act where the employee fails to follow a reasonable instruction that has been given by the employer. What is an example of that? Let's say your job description is to compile monthly reports for the company, financial reports. That is part of your contract of employment. The employer asks you to compile the monthly reports for August last year. He gave this instruction to you in writing. You failed to attend this instruction. Even though you knew it's part of your job description and it was an important document that the employer needed and the deadline has passed and you did nothing, you, did, you didn't take any steps to follow that instruction. That would be a good example of insubordination. The reason why I say that is because it has all the elements of insubordination. An instruction was given by the employer it was a reasonable instruction because it was related to your job. Anything that's not related to your job can be argued to be unreasonable. So if you work in a financial admin role and the boss asks you to do the plumbing in the office, you don't have to follow that instruction because you're not a plumber. However, it's related to your job. It was a reasonable instruction and you didn't do that. Then that is a ground for dismissal. So. Depending on how serious it is, it may warrant dismissal. If it is a minor instruction and you didn't follow it, you can justify and argue maybe a final written warning. Have a look at the company disciplinary code regarding that aspect. If you need help in your situation, you're more than welcome to click the link below and book an appointment with our office. We'll be able to go through the charge of insubordination, explain the consequences to you, or if you're just going through the CCMA or you're going through a disciplinary hearing and you need assistance. Click the link below and book an appointment with our office. I wish you all the best and I'll speak to you soon.